Hello everyone, so today I thought to talk about the spiritual side of zinc. just want to preface that I'm not a doctor and seek out medical advice from, from uh, professionals, from uh, physicians and professionals. Uh, I did want to mention that zinc is not only uh, said to be effective and used for the common cold, uh, in other viruses, but also is being discussed now, uh, for instance, by Dr. Zev Zelenko and others for use in combating COVID-19 to, uh, to some extent. It's not a complete cure, but again, I encourage you to, um, I'm going to link to a video, a recent video interview of, uh, Dr. Zelenko. So I encourage you to look more. So, just, just briefly, in, in regards to that treatment, so it, it centers around zinc, and the, the use of the, the other drug is used as a ionophore in order to make the, the walls of the cell permeable, to enable to open the door, provide a channel, a driver, a canal for the, for the zinc to go into the cells and stop, stop the proliferation of the virus. So... So Rabbi Ginsburg discusses the um, the periodic table according to the Torah, and he relates the uh, the periodic elements to each one according to the atomic number to the to the initial verses of creation, from Breshis, from in the beginning and then onward. So the thirtieth, uh, the the one with the atomic number of thirty is zinc. The thirtieth word of the of the Torah of the Bible is the word rakia, firmament. So, what does this word? What does this word mean? So, I wanted to bring up. There is a um, page starting at page th uh, two thirty seven of Body, Mind, and Soul by Rabbi Ginsburg, and I'll I'll copy and paste this uh, this section. And I'm not going to go into it so much. I encourage you to read it. But the, 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 the point that I wanted to bring home is that, is that rakia is, firmament is the birth of, of, of our potential, specifically, like in, in the context of, of marriage, it's the, it's the uh, the culmination of, in, into the into the embryo that the, the there's these three terms light water and firmament. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna read this paragraph. In Kabbalah we are taught that reproduction begins with the manifestation in the mind of the essence of one's self as pure light, or the light then becomes seed or water, mayim in Hebrew, in the idiom of Kabbalah. When the male seed fertilizes the female seed, the newly formed embryo is called the firmament rakia. So when we talked about breathing, we said that at every moment it's like being born anew. And the breathing meditation, in general, breathing meditation relates to the feminine consciousness, to, into, to birthing, to, to birthing new life into, into creation. And Specifically, specifically, we were talking about the breathing meditation chedva, which means joy to every every moment to experience this intense intense joy of life. To inhale she'ifa means to be aspirational, to be to have joy for life and enthusiasm for life. So to fulfill one's potential means. To both in the context of marriage, and we we discussed, is it a person that, that needs to find their uh, their brochure, their 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 soulmate to, to find, and then 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 to have children once once married. Now to to teach Torah to 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 share the divine wisdom, which is called the higher waters, is is also uh, a, w a way of, of of raising spiritual children of of teaching and having students 
Now there's the, the higher waters and the lower waters. So the, the higher waters are divine wisdom, the divine wisdom of the Torah, from God. And then the lower wisdom is of the natural sciences. So like we're doing now, talking about discussing the spiritual side of zinc, this is a making a unification between the two in such a way that we want that uh, every, everything in the physical has its counterpart in the spiritual. And the hope is, this is, this is why we're doing this, is that by having uh, the proper mindset, we, we're bringing new light down into the world and making this place a dwelling place for God. Making this world, this physical world, a dwelling place for God. So this is this is the intention behind every meditation, every 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 unification between the higher waters and the lower waters. So this all relates to rakia as well, to, to the firmaments. And the idea being that to recreate oneself derives from the very essence of one's soul, the etima anashama, the essence of our soul. It, to permeate every cell of our being with godliness. And what's the, uh, what's the ayana for? Is we want the, the light of godliness to come down into every, every cell of our being. We want the, the, the light of, of divine wisdom of the Torah to, to permeate every cell of our being and to share, to share that with others. That they should permeate uh, every cell of their being as well. So this is this is the the hope and the, and the prayer that all of us should uh, should experience. Anyone who needs a healing should be healed immediately, and all of us together we should we should collectively make this 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 world a completely saturated with godliness. So this all relates to rakia, which again corresponds. That uh, the elements to, to zinc, which is there's a reason why why zinc does what it does in a spiritual sense. It's a spirit the spiritual relationship between between all these things. So we, here we have one correspondence that the thirtieth word of the Torah of of the Bible is is rakia is firmament. So I'm gonna I'm gonna copy that and. Uh, But, uh, this is this is again the uh, the Kabbalah of zinc, the, the spiritual side of zinc. Thank you very much.